see this follow my socials, you will have undoubtedly seen the post where I mention an absolute steal of a guitar that I found in my local gas generators. Said that it'd take me 12 weeks to get hold of that guitar. I could not wait that long. So, here it is. The guitar is now mine. So, what we have here BC Rich, Avenge, Son of Beast, that as you can tell has been heavily modified. I have been on the lookout for one of these for a very, very long time. They are not in production anymore, so finding one on the second market, especially the one even with the modifications in this condition, there's only very slight damage, which I'll show you at some point. They're very expensive. And as soon as I saw the modifications that have been done to it, I, I had to have it. Admittedly, I did walk away, but then I went back, asked them about the pay weekly, and they were brilliant. All I had to do was pay my deposit. As long as I paid it off within 12 weeks, it was mine. Which, as you can tell, I got out before those 12 weeks. Anyway, <laughs> talk about the specs and the current setup of this guitar. So we have a set of 3x3 Shack Lock and Tune, a gold truss rod cover. It's got scores on it. Now, this isn't custom, this was actually stock on the guitar, but of these fretboard markers. Really nice red with a little black outline to it. As we get down towards the body, though, this caught my eye, and this is why I had to have it. We have a gold EMG. Now, not 100% sure what the EMG is at the moment, but we'll figure that out as we go along. That is mounted in a gold skull pickups around. We've got gold skull drawn up and a gold skull jack plate. But the biggest and most interesting modification has to be this steps bar gold tremolo system. And from the little bit of research I did, I found that this is the hardtail model. Now, I have never seen a tremolo like this. So there's going to be a lot of learning as to how they work properly, but yeah, it's, it's very intriguing and it worked really well. Now, I know this because I did play this for a little bit when I got it home. I was going to play it for you in this particular section of the video, but the fretboard is just disgusting. It is so dirty. I, I can't bring myself to play this fully. Whilst I could just, you know, take the strings off, clean it all down, and then reinstall the strings, I'm not a fan of the current hardware choice. Now. That is not to say I don't like old hardware, as evident from this. But when you combine a guitar that has got black and red with gold hardware, it just doesn't work for me. So with that in mind, I'm going to tear this bad boy down, get it all clean, then we'll figure things out from there.
I'm just gonna show you how to cast it into this. Let's have a look what EMG we've got in this one. So it is an 81. Sweet.
I'll just go back to the clip. No, amazingly, that still works. Yeah. <laughs> It's all clean. Fretboard's come up really nice. Um, looking at how they've left this, I had a feeling that there was going to be some of this left over. I may have to fix it. It's fine. But the good thing is, the string through holes are still intact. So that's a bonus. Now, with the finish on this guitar being white and red, the best hardware for it would be black and red as well. Oh, you know what I'm thinking. Let's tear SPH one mark, two apart. <laughs> 